Julian Assange has been in jail for an awfully long time. He's now in jail in the UK. He was under house arrest uh, in a foreign embassy in London. The US has now accused Julian Assange of violating the Espionage Act. This has been going on for a long time, and it shows how dumb we are that it took us a very long time, years, to ask the obvious question, what exactly did Julian Assange do wrong? Everyone, all good people hate Julian Assange. What was his crime exactly? Was he hacking into other people's computers? Was he stealing secrets from the US government? No, actually, he was publishing things that other people sent to him. He was a journalist, he was an editor. That's literally true. Should you throw editors in jail because they embarrass you? Probably shouldn't. Not a good precedent to set, even if you don't like the person's politics. You should be against that. A, a wide group of people are against it, it turns out. We spoke recently to Pamela Anderson, who's trying to get a pardon for Assange. Watch this. He needs to do the right thing. This is one of those moments in history, in his lifetime, too, that he needs to make the right decision. And so it's all up to, you know, President Trump. But he would really gain a huge following and a huge um, sigh of relief and gratefulness for so many people on the planet. We spoke to Roger Waters of Pink Floyd about it. Tonight, we're going to speak to Julian Assange's father and brother. John Shipton is his father. Gabriel Shipton is his brother. We're happy to have him on the show tonight. John Gabriel, thanks so much for coming on. Um, Thank you. John, Thank you. first to you, what, and this is a sincere question. What did your son do wrong, exactly? What is his specific crime? Well, no specific crime at all, Tucker. Um, he's just uh, uh, offended some people in, uh, in certain sections of Washington and consequently has faced uh, 12 years now of uh, persecution and harassment. And uh, Julian, as you know, is not uh, an American citizen, yet he's been tried under the 1917 Espionage Act uh, uh, to uh, bring Julian to the... United States uh, under the threat of 175 years in jail. So nothing at all, just uh, embarrassed a few people. Well, for those of us in the business of embarrassing and offending people in Washington, this is a bad precedent, uh, and which is, I will just be honest, one of the reasons I'm interested in this case. G Gabriel, tell us the conditions that your brother is in right now. Can you go see him if you want? Uh, he's in Belmarsh Prison. Uh, I visited him in October last year, and since then, uh, he has had no visits. The, pris the prison's in a total lockdown uh, due to COVID, so he's had no visitors from any family or uh, his lawyers. Um, so, you know, he's in, it's in a maximum security prison, so it's got all the most dangerous prisoners uh, from around the UK, the most violent prisoners. And he's been there up uh, on three years now, so... You know, he won his he won his extradition case uh, on January 4th, and then the U.S. government appealed, and then uh, a couple of days later he was refused bail. So he's been in, in since January. He's been sitting in prison, uh, an, an innocent man, not able to see his family or lawyers, um, and we just don't know when 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 the appeal will happen or or, or when this will end. I, and not just, not simply innocent. I mean, I, I don't even think the charges make any sense against him. In this country, you are constitutionally allowed. I mean, it's the first part of our Bill of Rights, the First Amendment. You're allowed to print things the government doesn't like, which is what he did. It, let me ask you, Gabriel, is any American elected official, I know there's activist types and cable news hosts, but any elected official taking your side on this? Well, uh, not since uh, not since um, Biden's inaugura in inauguration, not since President Biden's inauguration, uh, 20th of January, we haven't had. Um, uh, there's been no. It's been silent uh, from people in the Congress, in in Senate, uh, which is you know part of part of the reason why we're we're doing this tour is to encourage uh, encourage Americans to to stand up for their first first amendment rights, yes, um, and speak and speak to their Congress people and tell them that uh, you know an Espionage Act. Uh, prosecution. Go on. It's, it, it, I think we're having some audio problems. Is it, but let me finish your sentence. An Espionage Act prosecution for printing things the government is embarrassed to see in print is a scary precedent that's going to come back and bite us in the butt. And we should, we right. should not allow it. Right. Anyway, John and Gabriel, th I appreciate your, your taking time out of your tour to come on tonight. Thank you very much. Th thank you. Thank you, Tucker. Thank you, Tucker.